Welcome to Anima Engine. In this video, we are going to review a little about how to use the creator tools that we offer. In case you don't remember, once you have Anima Engine running, you can access to the different options clicking on the little arrow at your bottom right corner of your taskbar, then right-clicking the icon for Anima Engine. There you will have access to the different configurations, menus, and options we offer you at the moment. We are going to click the Creator Tools menu tab and see which options we have available. We have four different options and two different sections. The first section processes your image, animation, or video with different techniques. The second section utilizes modern IA tools to erase or modify more complex backgrounds. Right now, the MP4 options have not been released yet, so they won't work until a few weeks while we polish them for you guys. The Remove Background by Color option will allow you to erase any color from your image. It will open two windows for you. One will look black until you choose an image to modify. It will show you the preview, add, the modified image. The other widow will give you the different options you can modify. First, you have to select your image or animation, click the button and search for whatever you want to edit. Once you have it, it must be shown at the preview window. Then, you have to select the color that you want to erase. Use any color picker to get the exact RGB code or try to approximate it manually. When you're done, click OK and establish a threshold or margin to erase. This will help you if the color changes a little between points that we can't notice. It's a percentage from 1 to 100. Write it and click on Set Threshold. When you're ready, click Remove Background to erase that configuration you just set. You will see the differences at the preview window. If you want, you can also resize your animation. Use the options below. Mark the little box to activate resize and select a percentage. If you want to make it smaller proportionally, if you need a precise configuration of size, check the personalized option and write the precise height and width you need. To avoid deformations, you can check the Keep Aspect Ratio box. Once you're done, click on Save and you will have your image downloaded. Cool, right? Another tools you have is the IA Background Remover. It will allow you to use IA models with the ONNX extension to remove complex backgrounds. You can download some models at our webpage or try to find one through the internet. If you're going to use an IA model, be sure to put the ONNX file at the .u2net folder that you must have in your computer. Check the Archive Explorer. Then this PC, go to your local disk and select the Users folder. Click the folder with your username and inside, you must find the u-2-net folder. Just put inside any model that you want to use. Once you've done it, select the IA Background Remover tool at the Creators Tool menu. It should open a single window for you. First, select the archive that you want to edit, AI Image, GIF, or Amation. Then, select the IA model that you want to use, will be the ONNX file that you have at the U2Net folder. Finally, select any output folder where you want to save your final image. Once you're ready, Click Process Image to start the magic. After a few seconds, if everything is done right, it must be downloaded at your output folder and be ready to use. This should be covering the basic things to start to work your creativity. We hope it helps you a lot. Don't forget to write us at our Discord or I social media in case you have any questions. Thanks for making this project bigger every day. Welcome to Anima Engine.